Hello my love, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm Jess and this is the message that I wanna share with you right now in this moment. During my meditation, I specifically was talking to spirit and I said, what is the vibe? What is the energy? What is the message? What, what should be passed along right now? And spirit said, ask anyway, ask anyway ask anyway and as soon as I felt that I got a tremendous wave of sadness a tremendous wave of sadness and this wave felt like it was coming from a multitude of different directions it was like one wave getting pulled from this direction and pulling like an undercurrent and then I felt another wave on this side and it was pulling out from underneath and to me this shows that every single one of us has our own battles when it comes to asking for what we want and what we need right now. The first thing that I want to share with you is the fact that spirit was leading you to ask regardless of the fact that you feel like you're going to get a no. Ask anyway. The reason why this is so important that you ask for what it is that you specifically need in the situation knowing fully well that you might be rejected is because spirit doesn't want for you to have to not that you would need to wonder because i feel like you know so deeply in the spirit in your energy that this answer is going to be a no not that you not that spirit wants to punish you but you need to know that you've done everything in your power to ask for your needs to be met whatever that need is and this answer of no needs to be heard not only by your ears and your heart but by the person who is going to refuse you and this is why it's so emotional for me to share this because i don't want to set anybody up for heartbreak and i believe in my spirit and from my own experience and from how it feels that the divine does not set us up for failure and doesn't set us up to have our heart broken because it's callous and cold and wants to see us punished or and and not getting our needs met but there is something that happens when our our hearts get crushed and when someone is the person to crush it there's not you don't need to be punished in the situation because you haven't done anything wrong and spirit wants to reassure you that your need for what it is that you're asking for will be met. In fact, everything along your path is going to align to support you and nurture you and make sure that you will want for nothing. This is not just material blessings and material gifts and goods is how spirit is referring to it, but an emotional an emotional and an emotional impact you're going to be filled up emotionally with with love and everything that it is that a human being actually needs to survive and to thrive here on earth those are the same things that have been denied you or that you haven't had access to and they have felt and have been a threat to your very own survival the word that is that I'm hearing is like failure to thrive so there's a, a really strong chance that it might be apparent saying no or rejecting a child but this parent or whoever this is that is going to tell you no needs to ha needs to say it out of their own mouth for their own for their own growth for their own process for their own journey they have to hear themselves rejecting and denying the very thing that it is that or the very person that it is that they should be supporting and they know deep within their heart that they need to be giving saying yes to you if you if you understand and sense and intuitively know that this person is going to tell you no or reject you or turn you away it will be painful yes but it also gives that person permission to walk throughout their life not having to face the feeling and the truth that came from the place that made them want to say no in the first place I don't know if this, there's some things that people should not be okay with not confronting. And it is important that it's in their karma that they 
see how they're laying the cards down and that they face the music either with you or without you. And it is unfair for me or for the divine or anyone to ask you to continue to stand up and to ask for your needs to be met or to ask for this to come to fruition, knowing fully well intuitively that your intuition and your, you know in your spirit that the answer is gonna be no and still have to have asked the question, not only for your sake ultimately, but for the sake of another person. And that's where it is that I wanna tell you that sometimes the path and what's asked of you and what's required of you is not going to be fair at all. Not even a little bit is it going to be fair. But this is where this, this promise comes forward that spirit wants to let you know that all of this is not gonna be in vain. It's not gonna be in vain. It, ultimately, every step that you are guided and led to take and ultimately, no matter how tough the steps are and how much it will be painful, disappointing, and not even surprising for some of you guys to hear the answer being no. It will come around and you will be fulfilled in another way, in another space. And it's important for you to keep your eyes on the divine and keep your eyes on ultimately what it is that you, what it, what is that you need. Also that no, is going to be a yes soon, real soon. So if you have the ability, and also the way that you can turn it into a yes, by the way, is by having that conversation with the divine and say, listen, I could sense that this was, is there a chicken behind me? I feel like there's a chicken behind me or underneath me. I can feel it moving around. Um, I know that this is gonna be a no. And there it is. <laughs> I know that this is going to be a no, but I'm gonna to continue to come to you because I still need this need, I need. I still need this to, I still have this need, I still need this. For some of you guys, it's, I don't know why this is very specific, it's help with your, with like college payments. Some of you guys, it's actually like child, like, um, like child care when, what is it called when someone, child support? For some of you guys, it's a parent. It's, it's very like maternal or maternal paternal where you ask a father for something that you need and this father, specifically this father, needs to he hear himself say, I'm not going to give it to you. This person, regardless of how good they are or how much they could do better or how sick they are, whatever the case is, they still need to live with the karma of saying no to you or denying you the very thing that they know that they should be providing. It would not be justified, it would not be okay if they went, if they had the freedom to live the rest of their life being like, well, you never asked me. They, sh they should be the one to be the one to look you in your eye and in your, in your face and tell you, probably not even be able to look you in your eye, but to tell you no. And Spirit says that, again, this is not an easy thing for me to ask of you right now. It's not fair for me to ask this of you. But you, your need will be provided for. There, a path is being provided for you. There is an ultimate plan to all of this. It will be uncomfortable. It will be painful. But also, they don't want you to also burden and shoulder the fact that you have a need and that you're learning to not express that need and not to ask for that need to be met because it's not gonna end just here in this situation. It shows up in all the other ways where ultimately you're, you're fearful of asking for, for your needs and that should not be something that you are comfortable with. You have to get comfortable with asking for everything that it is that you need. Everything, even if they might say no, you still ask. You still ask, get used to asking, ask anyway. That was the original message, ask anyway. Get used to having your needs met. Get used to your needs being just as important as everything else that's going on in the face of this earth. Get used to that. Even if you're coming from a place where you get denied or where you have been abandoned or whether you get rejected, it's not fair. It's not fair. I feel it so strong in my spirit. Like even when I came on here, I was like, 
I'm like, I don't want to even bring this message, but at the same time, I do want to be the one to give it to you because I want you to be in inspired. You know, I want to be the one to speak life into you because I, I, I know I, I have it in me to do that. And I want that to be the gift that I give to you today or one of the many gifts that you get today. So regardless of whatever this is, honey, ask anyway. Your needs are gonna be met and the first way that you can give yourself everything you want is to continue to be the one to advocate for yourself by simply asking. And you don't need to demand it. Sometimes people are gonna tell you no. You don't need to say, well, you knew I deserve it. They know, they know. As long as you asked in peace, and as long as you made your needs met and that's your ground level and that's your, your, your foundation of how you show up for, for, your, for yourself and show up for your life, you don't need to demand it, force it, push it. As long as you said, listen, I need help. This is the best way that it is that you can help me. Can you do it? And if someone says no or if someone says yes, then at least you put it out there, okay? That's all that spirit wants to ask of you. And ultimately, every single need will be provided for. Also, go to the divine with the needs of your heart. There should not be one thing that it is that you know that you need that you haven't already expressed that to the divine. Go to the divine and say, listen, this is my need now. No, you're not asking for too much. If anything, you're not asking enough. <laughs> The right parent, and this is very much parental energy, but the right parent does want to provide for its child. A parent that is right in mind, body, soul, spirit does provide for its child in a full way. And there are definitely parents out there who can't do that. But that doesn't stop the child from asking or that shouldn't stop the child from asking or learning to stop asking for what it needs, for what they need. Those needs still need to be expressed, okay? And from the divine, divine's mouth to your ears now, ask again, ask loud, be clear. Even if the answer might be no, ask somewhere else. Continue to ask anyway, it's important. You're important, your needs are important. All right, my loves, I'm sending you guys all of my love. I, I hope and I set the intention that this seed was planted into your spirit at the right moment at the right time and i hope that it changes the trajectory of everything i don't even know if i said that word correctly but i hope that it changed everything i hope that it made it allowed for space for you to pivot in a way that is amazing for you for you and your journey at this moment in your life and honestly don't give up like don't give up on asking don't don't silently shoulder a burden even, and sometimes, I'm sorry, but sometimes it's like the people that is that you're asking for, you know they have good intentions or you know they're going through a lot, but they need to hear it. They need to hear you asking and they need to hear themselves saying no to you. And then confidently and with peace in your heart and with love in your heart, know that Spirit has already opened the door and granted you permission to receive the very thing that is that you're asking for and the very thing that is that you need, all of your needs and that that is heard. As I say that, a seagull calls out. All right, my loves, I'm sending you all of my love. Be gracious, be easy on yourself. Give yourself mercy, mercy. give yourself space. I speak love, peace, unconditional love over you. I hope that you are thriving. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.